Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm one of the Wildlife and Education Rangers at Ipswich Borough Council. Today we're going to do another five minute craft for wildlife using recycled items from your home and garden. Today's project is a Mug Bug Bee Hotel. If we were all a little less tidy and left some patches of wild in our garden, we could really help all kinds of wildlife. If you don't want to have dead plant stems in your garden, you could make a bee hotel. This will provide lots of nesting opportunities for bees such as leafcutter bees, which will lay multiple eggs in each stem with each egg cleverly timed to hatch out after the egg in front, so they all leave at just the right time. To make a bee hotel, or bug mug, all you need is some string, a small hammer, a mug, can be metal or china, but try and avoid plastic if you can, and some hollow stems of various sizes. This could be any plant that is hollow or pithy, as the bees can remove the soft pith in the centre. For example, bamboo, bramble, or reed are perfect. But be careful of giant hogweed, which has hollow stems, but causes serious burns if touched. If unsure of what to use, you can buy bamboo canes from many garden centres. You could also use small wood offcuts with holes drilled into them too. All you need to do is cut your bamboo or hollow stems down to the length of your mug and start piling it in. You want to make sure that these are really tight so they can't fall out. This is where the hammer comes in. Once your stems are in quite tight, start tapping in some stems in between with the hammer. This will secure the stems in place and prevent them from falling out. Test your mug by tipping it upside down. If any canes start to slip out, tap in some more stems until it's all firmly in. Tie some string onto the handle and find a sunny south facing spot to hang your bee hotel. These must be placed in warm south or southeast facing parts of your garden to attract these kinds of bees. If your garden is quite shady, you can still make a bug mug, as these will also be great for overwintering insects like ladybirds, wood lice and lacewings. Remember though, if you're aiming for bees and not overwintering bugs, it's important to clean out your bug box each winter. This will prevent the spread of diseases and parasites. Simply take out the stems, wash your mug and start filling it with new stems. The old stems can go in your compost or brown bin. If you have made a bug mug from watching our video, we'd like to know. Share your photos, videos and stories with us by using the hashtag IpswichParkLife and tagging us at IpswichGov.